The universe is infinite in size as well as majesty, with sprawling nebulae, a prime environment for the creation of many massive stars, and said stars which are beautiful in their chaos. An explosive mass of matter which is only kept from falling apart completely by the strength of its own gravity. Around some stars are even smaller bodies of mass that orbit their anchor in a type of dance, slowly, oh so slowly, revolving around the sun. Now, we reach us, even smaller things that live on a thing that is big to us, but when compared relatively to the rest of everything, is hardly anything at all. We are small, yet our idea is large, with complex civilizations made about systems within systems. Every person has a role to play in the machine we call society. And at last, we reach the point of everything. Coding. Code is essentially the directions we give to an electronic device for it to function and serve its purpose. While it wasn't always this way, nowadays, most modern devices have some amount of programming inside them, helping even cars run well. However, in modern times, when we think of code, we think about our phones, the latest video game craze, and the apps we use on a daily basis. All of these things have been created by different teams of software developers who work every day with the code essential to modern life. Hello, I'm Ted. And after an estimated minute 25 seconds, we finally got on topic. It must be a new record or something. Holy sh Hannah, holy Hannah. Uh, yeah, and today what I'm going to be talking to you yes, you specifically, whoever it is I'm pointing at, probably in the middle of the hallway, whatever, is software developers, and what their career is and what it looks like. And no, the first little bit of this video was not meandering or off topic, it was artistic. Thank you. So, let's start from the beginning. The requirements needed to become a software developer are at least a bachelor's degree in computer science, as well as living, breathing, and perhaps even sleeping code, if you wanted to go above and beyond. You'll need a sequence in physics, calculus, differential equations, and linear algebra. And if you're planning to rise through the ranks of the software developer world, go for your masters. So yeah, you'll need a post-secondary education for this one. Coding is involved and immersive work, work that you'll be doing for likely 40 plus hours a week. It isn't uncommon for software developers to be asked to come in for work over the weekend and clock in extra hours after their shift was supposed to have ended. In order to not burn out, a passion for coding is necessary. It's not all sad though. When you first start out as a software developer, you make $50,000 a year, which, although it does sound rather lame, the median for software developers is $90,000, with the highest paid workers making $153,000 Canadian. Look, for you Americans out there, that's at least like 20 grand, okay? So, it's a big deal here. Good job, bub! You've been in the industry for two years, and you're making 89000 Canadian yearly. You've really climbed the corporate ladder. He never expected the unfortunate fate that was to befall him. If you've been in the industry this long, odds are you'll experience it. After literally years of hard work, you'll finally get laid off. Being laid off is a matter of when in the world of professional software development. It likely, hopefully, is not your fault. Sometimes companies will just decide that they don't want to develop the product that you're working on anymore, and just cut everyone attached to it, which all leads up to the fact that networking is incredibly important. Contacts can help you get a job when you're unemployed, which will likely happen more than once in a full career. I would like to insert here that analytics from 2019 suggest that by 2029, the industry will have grown by 22%, which is a lot faster than most industries. There will be plenty of jobs for the average software developer since startups are rising and falling all the time. The competition will be fierce, which makes a good word said about you here and there all the more important. If you're looking to rise the ranks, the Giga Geek G Quad, then for the most part, raises and promotions are based on seniority and overall industry experience, as well as performance. You could eventually rise to a managerial position, but before doing that, think about whether management is for you. If you wish to be a manager, acknowledge that management is a skill much different than coding. And I've seen many stories about someone becoming a manager because they, they can do so much better before realizing that it's stupidity all the way up and eventually leaving to become a programmer again. So, get promotions that allow you to use the same skill set that set you above the rest and made you eligible for said promotion in the first place, dickhead. That's right, we're PG-13 now, boys. Buckle up. Forgive me, friends, comrades, dudes, but I'm about to put some negative vibes in this house. Coding is not all sunshine and rainbows. 
there are some things about this industry that are, admittedly, pretty sus. There are times you will crunch, heavily, depending of course on what you are programming for. And in case you're unaware, crunch does not refer to the eating sensation. He refers to grinding 24-7, never quitting. And in English, it means working long hours leading to an unhealthy work-life balance, often due to time constraints. If you are upset with the industry and have a revolutionary new idea, you could always found your own startup. But we know how those often go. That shouldn't stop you from trying, though. There are issues with limited infrastructure and conflicts between testing teams. I can grasp what they are, but I do not know the extent of said issues. Just that they are problems. And bad. That's software development for you, but I believe it's time we moved on to the next video.